I'm John. Uh, you probably saw me, uh, saw my videos, the mushroom videos, um, trying to grow mushrooms in my backyard. Also a D DIY kind of guy that's a do it yourself. And uh, my daughter's getting married, so we're, uh, my wife is a craft genius, and we're gonna make a lot of the stuff for her wedding. Um, my, uh, my basement, as you can see here, is uh, full of crafts for the wedding, so I'll be making plenty of videos. Um, this one is going to be the, uh, the bows that uh, hang on the sides of the pew. And basically we've started out, we actually, uh, we purchased these cheap second hand, but this is basically a burlap bow, which you could make if you wanted to make it. Uh, and this is just some tool, folded in half, wired to the bow, and um, basically it's gonna hang on the pew. Uh, I'll show you the little hanger bracket that uh, we're gonna use to hang it. But I'll show you how to make this, turn this into this. Now this bow that we use could be used for uh, just a, a regular bow. Um, you know, you pretty much could put that on anything, but again, I'll show you more videos because we're actually gonna use them for, uh, we've turned some old bird cages into stuff that's gonna be a separate video. But basically, I'm gonna show you how to make this today. Again, like I said, we have the tool and the bow already, and we're gonna use a few things here. This is what we purchased. Um, we got some large silk maple flowers. Um, we got feathers. We got pine cones, which we collected. Um, we've lightly brushed with, uh, with paint, paint of your choice. We picked this color because it kind of matched and goes with everything else. Uh, basically took my uh, drill here, drilled a little hole at the bottom of the pine cone. We have 12 gauge wire that we uh, glued inside the pine cone, so it looks real nice there. Also a different kind of feather, the colors accent each other. Uh, we have brown, 12 gauge wire, 30, 30 gauge wire, I'm sorry the uh, white 30 gauge wire and more silk flowers which you know we buy in bulk those are leaves leaves sorry yes uh, we buy in bulk we've taken the uh, 30 gauge wire glued to the back of each leaf some few different colors here the white 30 gauge wire to uh, this leaf um, got the wire we're uh, gonna use this string to tie it all together you got some black lace, you got some white lace, and uh, of course you got the different glues here. Uh, we do have some feathers we're going to use uh, to assemble this together. And uh, these, uh, these eucalyptus. little eucalyptus leaves here, uh, not real, they're also uh, artificial, but we're going to use those. I'm going to basically uh, have my wife show you how to make this right here, and um, she'll talk you right through it. So hopefully I didn't make you dizzy by flipping the camera here. But uh, she's got everything laid out here. She's going to give you the brief version of uh, how to assemble this guy. And the final product looks like this. Then we attach that to the bows we showed you just a minute ago. So, so we take the base leaf, a little bit of that eucalyptus. I've already cut everything apart to the size that I want. And honestly, you just kind of layer it together. And I got it down to a science. Actually, I got one already, down to a kind of a science. This wire is flexible, so if you don't like the way it's laying, you can actually arrange it a little bit. I'm gonna get that in there. One of each kind of feather. Our daughter hates flowers, but she wanted feathers and leaves, so we're making that work now. I'm gonna put this one over here because this one likes to angle that direction just for a different flow. The feathers are not real flexible. Then we get that nice little deep orange pine cone in there. Okay, and then I liked my red leaf on this side, my orange leaf on this side. Each one of these takes about five minutes, even being careful. <coughs> and then I've been putting my yellow leaves down here. And this little piece of feather, we cut off that ribbon just adding it to the front and kind of arranging it a little bit. And I don't like the way that guy looks, so we're gonna push it back there and arrange that wire. Put that feather back over here. And I'm just holding it tight down here. Now, you take just a piece of that 30 gauge brown is what we're using, so it blends. And this is where your leg really comes in handy because you just lay it there while you're still holding it. And 
The key is to get this really tight. So I'm actually doing this, making sure it's really tight, wrapping it around. And then the other side, and I just wrap it down because the nice thing about this wire is you can actually use it to hold everything together. And then I would actually arrange it a little bit to make it look prettier like that one does. The last thing you do is you take your lace, spend the extra money and get the lace or the ribbon that has the wired edges because you will be so much happier after you make 18 of these like I have because it's flexible and it will stay where you want it to stay and it just has a classier look to it than ribbon without the wire in it. And then my daughter also wanted the black so we got a little bit of a classy rustic look going on. And I just took a little bit of the black ribbon and made a tiny little bow with it, using your fingers to hold it in place. Let the burlap hang, because guess what? It's rustic and it doesn't have to be exactly perfect. And then you can arrange that wired ribbon a little bit. And that's it. This is a little bit off center, so I would I will probably trim one edge of the black to make them even. That's how, what, why it's so nice that you can just uh, kind of ad lib it a little bit. Let's just do it right now. Oh, look how easy that is. And it's done. And then you do have to actually add this to your pubo. I have a smaller piece of 30 gauge. John, can you hold that for me temporarily? Because I'm going to need two hands. And there's a wire here already. You just stick that little piece of 30 gauge in there. It's just enough to tie the decoration on. And again, you want it really super tight. So get your lace out of the way. And just tightening it and then just twisting. Kind of like a bread tie around and around and around if you can do it without getting your lace in the way and then do one more quick little touch up just to make it look pretty and you got a pubo all right and uh stay tuned here uh, what we're going to do is um like I said, we're going to take these bird cages. We'll make another video of that, uh, how we finish those. Uh, see these wreaths over here? We're going to get some wreaths, um, make another video. But uh, stay tuned and uh, come on back, and we'll teach you how to do some other stuff. Thanks for joining.